Now learning new details tonight about the arrest of more than a dozen people following an immigration protest at the Wyatt Detention Center. Police say seven men and 11 women will face a judge next week after refusing to leave the facility's entrance last night. Video recorded last night showed the police presence and protesters at the detention center, which currently houses more than 100 federal immigration detainees. This protest was happening at the same time as dozens of others across the country. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt is live in Central Falls. He talked talked with city officials and one of the people who was arrested. Brandon. Well, Mike and Shannon, this is just the latest protest in front of Wyatt. We've seen them over the last couple of months, particularly in response to the detention center's agreement with ICE. But this one was different when it was all said and done. Nearly dozens of people were sent away by police. I think we're at a historical moment right now where it is a moral imperative for us to be disruptive. A national debate hitting right here at home. Katie Bogan was one of the nearly 250 protesters Tuesday, part of a campaign by the National Jewish Youth Movement Never Again. Bogan, one of the 18 arrested. Did you go in yesterday thinking you would end up getting arrested? I went in um, prepared for the possibility that I would be arrested but I didn't assume that that was going to happen. Bogan says the group planned to leave when the center closed at nine. Police reports obtained by Eyewitness News show arrests were made just 10 minutes short of closing. We are trying to stop a van from leaving because obviously our goal was to shut down what the detention center was able to do. Central Falls Mayor James Diosa says police gave protesters several chances to move. But under the circumstances and the concerns of safety overall, uh, we had to take that, that step. Diosa is just one of the many city leaders sued by Wyatt's bondholders over attempts to break an agreement allowing the detention center to hold ICE detainees. So right now we're in litigation. As you know, I've, I've been sued, so I can't get into much details. While staying tight-lipped, Mayor Diosa says he's in support of peaceful protests and understands the passion behind yesterday's events. Police say all 18 people have been released from jail. They have a court appearance on July 11th, but this was in part the protest in response to a national immigration debate. Coming up in the next hour, hear why Bogan is comparing those detention centers on the border to concentration camps. That's all new at six. That's the latest here live in Central Falls. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News. Details now on last night's protest at the Wyatt Detention Center that led to more than a dozen people being arrested. And today we talked to one of the demonstrators. I to Sue supporter Brandon Truitt joins us now live from Central Falls with what he's learned. Brandon. Well, Mike and Shannon, this is a result of a national debate playing out locally. When it was all said and done, that three hour protest resulted in 18 arrests and one of those arrested telling us today she would do it all over again. Video showing the moments a Tuesday night protest leads to arrest. We were able to actually interrupt the flow of their work day. Nearly 250 protesters lining up in front of Wyatt Detention Center in Central Falls. After being asked by police to stop blocking an entrance to the center, arrests were made. We tried really hard to, to, to talk to them and, and you know give them a time to assemble and protest. In all, 18 people were taken away and booked at police headquarters. One of them, 25-year-old Katie Bogan. If someone had asked me a few years ago if I ever thought I would be arrested in the back of a cruiser, I would have laughed. Bogan is part of the National Jewish Youth Movement Never Again. She takes issue with President Trump's immigration policies and the detention centers along the border, going as far to comparing some of them to concentration camps. There are no blankets. There are no beds. There's not enough food. The children are sick. People don't have access to their family members. Members. And that really is reminiscent to me of the stories I heard from my grandfather. Bogan says it's her hope why it will break free of its agreement with ICE to hold detainees. The battle to do that is currently tied up in the courts. Mayor Rioza is one of those listed in that lawsuit. He says there are still ICE detainees in Wyatt right now. Bogan says that their group is already planning more protests in the near future. Live in Central Falls, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.